In this presentation, we're going to discuss about different building blocks of C programming language. Following are the main ingredients of a C program. Keyword identifier, literal comments operator, and tokens and aliases. We're going to see one by one. First, keywords. Keywords have special meaning to the compiler, like a word in the dictionary. A word in the dictionary has special meaning. Very few keywords in C, but we have to understand most of them. Some keywords are compiler specific. So following are the list of keywords in C. Some of them we're going to see in the demo. So I'm going to create a new project in Visual Studio. Vinted console application. So got a little main here. In this we have a couple of keywords already. So ind is a keyword. Another another repetition of ind is here. Um, actually this will resolve to a keyword. Return is another keyword. Um, one more keyword I'm introducing here, int a. So in this int a, int is a keyword. So we're going to see this uh, a lot later. So don't worry much about this now. So next is identifier. So in this case, A is an identifier. So identifier doesn't have a special meaning like keywords has. We can put whatever we want within the rule of the compiler. Test, whatever it will take. So identifier is something we give. It's like a name of a person. So next we're going to see literal. So literal can be a string or a number, anything which compiler understand, but doesn't have any specific meaning other than the meaning which we give. For example, print of hollow world. This printf is an identifier, just like this. Only thing is that printf is declared in hash include stdio.h. So printf is not a keyword, but hello world is a literal. So it is not an identifier because it's in codes. So it is also not a keyword. So hello world is a literal or a string literal. Another example for literal is int test equal to 10. So in this case, the number 10 here is a literal. Next is operator. There are different operators in, in C. Um, plus, minus, star for multiplication and other other uses. Um, so a lot of operators. We're going to see a plus operator. Int A equal to 10 plus 20. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here and pressing the play button to debug just to see what is inside A. So A is containing 30. So if you drag and drop to the watch window, you can see A. A the value inside A is 30. So which means that 10 plus 20. So this is additional operator or a plus operator. So it has done the addition and send that value to A. Next thing we're going to see is comment. Comment is something which you write to make your program uh, more readable. Um, when the compiler compiles the source code, it is ignoring the comments. So comment can be can be anything. So identifier also can be anything but identifier has certain look. For example, if I take 
take out this int, um, it'll, it'll complain. But comment can't be anything. So um, you start comment with double slash in C++ or a slash star test and I have to end with a slash star. So this is a C style comment. So mostly our extension is C++. So we'll be um, using either this or this. So this is this is also called multi-line command. If I if I take this out, if I press Control X, and Control V here, so entire code is commended. So which means that this this code is not going to produce any output. Next category is aliases or placeholders. So be best example in in our case is hash include stdio.h basically this particular statement is the placeholder for the content inside the file stdio.h at the time of compilation this particular statement is getting replaced with the content of this particular file this is done by something called preprocessor which is which is also part of the compiler even even this underscore main is an alias So it, it's an alias for um, um, W main. Coming back to our slides, so we have seen keyboards. It is something which is understood by the compiler. Identifier, we can put anything, variable names, function names, etc. We have seen a demo as well in the A. Literals, as we have seen, it is a string or a number like 10, hello world, etc. Operator, we have seen plus minus star, we have seen the plus operator. Some of, some of the operators are confusing. So we have seen this demo. Comments, yeah, anything, mostly for the readability of the code. We have seen a demo as well. So we have seen a um, couple of things. Uh, so not all of these things we can see at the moment, but um, we'll, we'll try to look at this as we go again. So we have seen the hash include example, which replaces the content of the file. Briefly, we have seen this as well, hash defines. So that's it. So we have seen different ingredients or the components or building blocks of C programming language. So don't worry if you're not able to comprehend everything at this point in time. So um, just to introduce a couple of things, that was the only intention of this presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.